I've been coast to coast, from the Rockies to the Grand Canyon, different beaches, but I keep coming back to this little river tucked away in the Ozark Mountains in Arkansas called the Buffalo River. And it doesn't get the respect it deserves, but there's no question that it's, it's as beautiful as any place. There's even an aspect of adventure when you're planning the trip. If there's too much rain and the river's too high, you can't float it because it's dangerous. If the river's too low because we don't have enough rain, you can't go because you're not going to be able to float. So when you get there, it makes it that much sweeter to be able to make a trip happen. If you ever hear the saying, water is life, it's never more true than when you're at the river. You build your fire to keep warm, you're bringing up driftwood, you're catching fish, you're seeing all kinds of wildlife, deer, raccoons, snakes, and you can do a cannonball in the water to cool off and then pull a fish right out of that same shoal you were just cooling off in and children are swimming in. And there's just something so neat about that to be able to swim with the fish and then catch one of them, cook it and eat it right there on the shore, jump off the cliffs, or all of it, all these aspects of the nature and fun all packed into one. It's just tough to, tough to match. If you ever get the opportunity to do an overnight float and primitive camp on the side of the riverbank, it's something I recommend for everybody. You, the feeling of being at the mercy of nature is one you may love and you may hate, but but you'll come out with a better appreciation for all the things that we take for granted on a daily basis. Beyond that, all the people you go with on the trip, you'll automatically have this connection for life because when you spend 24 hours with somebody and you can't escape them, there's this connection that doesn't just go away overnight. The fire, the s'mores, the camaraderie, the sounds. Every noise at night that you hear that keeps you waking up all night and not sleeping great. And then waking up and seeing a beautiful sunrise eliminating a painted rock face is just something that will keep you coming back year after year and weekend after weekend. The Buffalo River may not get as much attention or recognition as other national parks in the country, but if you're willing to bet, if you go see it yourself, you'd agree that it's as beautiful as anywhere and it deserves as much respect. If you don't believe me, go check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think.